Hello and welcome. Jenny Hall here for Trinity Stamps. Today I have a project to share with you that's made almost exclusively out of die cuts. I'm using the Slimline Rooftops Border Die, a stamp set called a, slim, a Sentiment for Almost Everything, the Slimline Rainbow Builder, the Great Outdoors Borders and Builders Dies. There's a lot of die cuts here, but I'm going to start off by taking a big sheet of paper and I think I've used Nina 80 pound here and I'm going to make as many die cuts as I can on the one panel. I'm going to use my Trinity Stamps Blending Buddy brushes to add some color to these die cuts. I made them all die cut from the same white paper, which is going to make it easy for me to color them all different colors. So this image reminds me of a neighborhood and I thought, you know, it would be really cool to build a neighborhood that looks like my neighborhood. And I live on top of a hill and I can see the rooftops of another house or another long series of houses on the opposite side of my street and plus behind me out my back window. And I thought it would be fun to kind of emulate that look. So I'm going to use some ink pads from Ink on 3. These are Atelier inks. And I have a Blending Buddy brush that's dedicated for each ink color. So I've got the little color cap that's from Trinity Stamps on my Blending Buddy brush. And you can see that it's got the little brown cap on the bottom. And that tells me that's my brown brush. Now the green cap tells me this is my green brush. That's really a handy tool to have. So I'm going to continue to color all of the die cuts until, until I have enough color built up on them. And then I have my card base and I'm going to add color for the background directly to the card base. This is going to reduce some of the bulk of having a lot of paper die cuts built up on the front. So instead of working on a panel and gluing down a panel, then I'm going to just lightly add color directly to that card base. This is a slimline card and it measures three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. I'm not so much worried about getting that absolutely smooth look, although it is a really nice smooth look. I want to just add some color in different areas just so that I get the idea of having a blue sky. And I'm going to just very lightly, not really put hardly any pressure at all on the brush and just move it over the card front and it's going to give me enough color. I left some white areas that were not colored and that is going to give the look of clouds, just kind of in a really natural way. So now I want to make it look like there are some lights on inside these houses and I'm doing that by using my yellow brush and just kind of measuring where it would be. And that gives me the glow look inside the houses, which I'm really excited about. Now onto the Slimline Rainbow Builder. And I had this piece already in the package that I had left over from another project. And that made me really happy to be able to use it today in this project. I really like the idea of not tossing out things that I find are useful. And whenever I find an instance where I can actually use them, then it's really satisfying feeling. So I'm going to adhere the tree trunks down behind the rooftop. And I'm going to kind of just audition the tree the tree leaf part uh, to see which direction it looks good. Now the cool thing about this die set, which is called the Great Outdoors, you can use these for clouds or for trees. And I'm gonna use them for trees because I've already created the look of clouds in my background, but otherwise I might really use them as clouds. I'm going to put a little bit of foam tape on the back of this neighborhood rooftop area and I am seeing everything come together and I'm really, really enjoying the way it looks. The way that it kind of played out is that there was a little bit of extra space on the right hand side. And so I just trimmed that part off. So if you ever find that a die cut doesn't fit your card base, 
one way or another, then it's just so easy to just take it to the trimmer and take that part off. In that grayed outdoors die set are some little birds, which I love birds, and this made me happy again to put some birds in proportion. And it's the correct proportion with the rooftops and with the trees. Everything just kind of worked out really great. I like the fact that there was no brush holding coloring on this project because sometimes I have problems with my hands and I have arthritis and then one of my fingers is really tricky and I have a hard time coloring. But making this kind of a card, I find that I can still give my own customized hand artwork. I can use the colors that I want to see and by using and holding on to that blending brush, it's not as bad as working on a paintbrush. So if you see me using a lot of die cut items in projects, then it could be because over the winter, the you know, my hands are just really hurting. And sometimes it's nice to just give ourselves a break and still be able to create some great art. Now we're going to add our sentiment and I'm using the wish you were here because this reminds me of my neighborhood and I wish that I had some friends that I could invite over. But until we get back to normal in our world and the pandemic is over, then this is as close as we're going to get. So I can send a little piece of my neighborhood to someone else in this particular card. Now I'm going to add some... Nouveau shimmer on top of the birds and I'm careful not to touch other areas because it could kind of um, take away the ink that's already put down. And that's our card. I hope that you've enjoyed this project and we encourage you to share your projects with us over at our Trinity Stamps Imagination page on Facebook. Please like this video and subscribe and thank you for watching.